Ever thought your protein supplement could be your worst enemy? Like a wolf in sheep's clothing lurking around your pantry waiting for for its next victim? Here's a plot twist. It might be. And you won't believe what ChatGPT answered me when I asked about protein supplements. Supplements, as common as the morning cup of Joe, are seen as a loyal friend in our quest for fitness. Introducing John, a fitness fanatic who practically breathes supplements. They're his morning toast, his lunchtime burger, and sometimes even his goodnight kiss. But behind that muscle-building facade, there's a murky world ready to pounce. These hidden foes, such as overindulgence, might be turning John's protein supplement into a double-edged sword, building muscles and health issues simultaneously. A roller coaster of emotions, right? Hold on to your gym shorts. We're about to unravel the secretive life of your protein shake. Stick around if you want to know what your protein shake isn't telling you. And it's not about its secret love for Zumba. Think protein supplements are all benefits? No drawbacks? That's assuming a porcupine makes a perfect pet. Today we're embarking on a journey through the humorous maze of misconceptions about protein supplements. First on the list, the popular misconception that more protein equals more muscles. It's more like trying to fit a herd of elephants into a Mini Cooper. Overloading your system with protein doesn't necessarily enhance its performance. The body has a limit to the amount of protein it can use at once. The excess, then it either settles as fat in your body or gets the door. Not the outcome you visualized, is it? Next, we debunk the myth that protein supplements are the secret to muscle gain. Sounds like a captivating bedtime story, doesn't it? But it's time to break that fantasy. While protein plays a vital role in muscle repair and growth, you don't need to hop on the supplement train to meet your protein needs. A balanced meal rich in whole foods can provide the protein your body craves. Supplements should only serve as a support to your diet, not take center stage. Then there's the amusing misconception that protein supplements can magically fix a poor diet. Wouldn't that be a wish come true? Sadly, it's as distant from reality as the sun is from Pluto. Yes, protein supplements can help fulfill your protein needs, but they can't make up for a diet lacking other essential nutrients. You still need your fruits, veggies, whole grains and healthy fats to keep your body humming smoothly. And who can overlook the myth that all protein supplements are cut from the same cloth. That's as probable as all burgers having the same taste. The quality of protein supplements can differ as much as fingerprints, with some packed with unneeded fillers, sugars, and potentially harmful substances. Always scrutinize the label and choose wisely, akin to selecting the best burger toppings. Lastly, the mistaken notion protein supplements are reserved for bodybuilders. Hold it right there! Protein is essential for everyone, not just those with a passionate relationship with dumbbells. Whether you're a marathon runner, a Pilates enthusiast, or just someone trying to keep the doctor at bay, you need protein to repair tissues, generate enzymes, and perform other bodily functions. Shocked? Well, buckle up, we're just getting started. Brace yourselves as we unveil the clandestine risks of your dear protein supplements. It's like discovering the hidden kryptonite of your favorite superhero. Now that tub of powdered Hercules maker you've been banking on might just be a Pandora's box of unexpected surprises. First up, we're exposing the potential culprit behind kidney damage. Our kidneys, the silent warriors, are toiling around the clock to eliminate the junk from our blood. But gulping down protein in excess is like asking them to work on Christmas without any bonus. Eventually, they might just give up, leading to chronic kidney disease. It's like a car engine choking on too much oil. A study even found that diets heavy in protein, especially animal protein, could put those with already compromised kidneys on thin ice. Coming up next is the tummy trouble. Noticed how your stomach sounds like a grumpy bear after a protein shake? That's because just like you at an all-you-can-eat buffet, your body can only handle so much protein at once. Everything extra becomes a feast for gut bacteria in bloating wind and some seriously antisocial toilet visits. It's a party in your gut and you're not invited. Now let's turn the spotlight on nutrient deficiencies. Protein supplements can be that one friend who always turns up late and polishes off all the pizza, leaving you hungry. They fill you up, but inadvertently elbow the essential off your plate. So you might end up missing out on crucial vitamins, minerals, and fibers you get from whole foods. And here's a shocker. Uh, the quality of protein supplements can be as inconsistent as your ex's behavior. Some are brimming with artificial sweeteners, colors, and other additives that are as natural as a unicorn's tears. 
Others may harbor heavy metals like lead, arsenic, and mercury, as per a study by the Clean Label Project. That's a cocktail you'd rather not be caught dead sipping on. We also can't overlook the financial blow. Protein supplements can be as pricey as a high-end designer handbag when a humble sack would do the trick. And let's not forget the planet. The protein supplement production often employs intense farming methods that are as eco-friendly as a coal-powered steam engine. And those plastic tubs they come in? Not always recyclable, which could mean they end up in a landfill or worse, oceans. And nobody wants a plastic cocktail, so in conclusion, while protein supplements can be a handy way to increase your protein intake, they do come with their cons. It's like dating a movie star. Glamorous but high maintenance makes you second guess that extra scoop, doesn't it? Curious about the aftermath of overindulging in protein supplements? It's like indulging in too much cake. It starts off as a heavenly experience only to result in sugary remorse. Let's venture into the captivating tale of an ardent fitness enthusiast named Jake. Jake was your prototypical fitness junkie. His philosophy was elementary, more protein, more power, a belief he held on to, much like a child clinging on to the existence of Santa Claus. The more protein he guzzled down, the larger and stronger he believed his muscles would expand. Jake's day kicked off with a protein shake, leading to a protein bar for breakfast. He was essentially a protein bar powered machine at this point. His midday meal was predominantly protein, and between meals he would nibble on more protein bars, because why not? And naturally no day was considered over without a protein shake, humorously referred to as his protein nightcap. His eating habits were an epitome of protein gluttony. However, as time passed, Jake began feeling an unshakable fatigue and a dip in his workout performance. He was piling on the pounds, but not muscle mass. He disregarded these symptoms, crediting them to his vigorous workout regime, because in Jake's world, no pain, no gain, right? But the situation plunged when Jake started battling severe abdominal pain. An emergency trip to the hospital revealed his kidneys were under an enormous strain, evidently under attack by his beloved protein supplements. Here's a simple breakdown. Our kidneys function as the body's waste disposal system, tossing out the leftovers from protein metabolism. When we pump in more protein than our body can handle, our kidneys are forced into overtime, leading to potential kidney damage over time. This was Jake's reality. Thankfully, Jake's tale does have a silver lining. After several months of medical intervention and a significant dietary makeover, Jake managed to bounce back to good health, restoring his kidney function and regaining his vitality. He has since become an ambassador for balanced nutrition and actively cautions against the perils of a protein overdose. In conclusion, a cautionary tale indeed. Remember, too much of a good thing can be a bad thing. Just ask Jake. He can vouch for it. Jake's story is a stark reminder that while protein is an essential nutrient, too much of it can cause the health scales to tip precariously. It's all about balance and moderation. So the next time you are ready to chug that protein shake, remember Jake's story and ask yourself, is it a need or a potential protein overkill? Hey, don't worry, there are safer ways to meet your protein needs. It's not all doom and gloom in the protein world. Indeed, there's a much broader spectrum beyond those protein tubs that doesn't involve ingesting unappetizing insects. So, ready to dive into the protein-rich lagoon? First up, we have the A-list celebrities of protein, eggs, chicken, fish, and lean meat. High in protein, low in fat, and oozing with essential nutrients, these natural sources are the Hollywood stars of nutrition. For our vegetarian buddies, we've got lentils, chickpeas, and other legumes. And no, protein shakes made from bugs are not on this list. Let's swerve onto the Dairy Avenue. Milk, cheese, and yogurt are not only a treat to your taste buds, but are also loaded with protein and calcium. A glass of milk or a serving of Greek yogurt could be your post-workout best buddy. The plant kingdom isn't left behind either. It's buzzing with protein-packed options. Quinoa, for instance, is the superhero of proteins, boasting all nine essential amino acids. And let's not overlook our tiny buddies' nuts and seeds are crammed with protein and healthy fats. The trick here is like playing a game where you can score bonus points through these natural alternatives. Not only are you getting your protein, but you're also bagging a bunch of other nutrients. But remember, life is all about balance. Overloading on anything can tip the scales in the wrong direction. So keep your diet as diverse and vibrant as a rainbow, teeming with fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and yes, proteins. And that wraps up our journey through healthier alternatives. Remember, nature often has the best solutions. So let's keep it natural, shall we? 
Um, unless you're into protein shakes made from bugs, then we need to have a chat. So, are protein supplements friend or foe? Or that insistent pal who doesn't know when to pack his bags? We've taken a wild ride through the twister game of unseen risks, called busted on some protein myths that have been as enduring as a vampire romance and turned on the flashlight on the spooky downstairs basement of protein supplements. We've even shared a rather unsettling tale of protein overdose that had more drama than season finale cliffhanger. Whether they're friend or foe, buddy or bugbear, it seems, depends largely on how you use them. Remember, too much of anything isn't good, and with protein supplements, you're basically playing a game of dietary Jenga. They can be useful, sure, but only when used in moderation and in conjunction with a balanced diet. It's like wearing a hat in the sun. A hat can cover your noggin, but if the rest of you is like a lobster, it's not really doing its job, right? And let's not forget the healthier alternatives we've discussed. Natural sources of protein, like lean meats, dairy and legumes, can do wonders for your body without the potential drama and suspense associated with overconsumption of protein supplements. What's your take on protein? Are you rethinking your protein habits or are you too busy chortling at our protein puns? Drop your thoughts and your best protein jokes in the comments below.